In this video, we will take a look at how to create clickable YouTube thumbnails in Google Data Studio. Now you might want to do this in order to make your Data Studio reports a bit more visually appealing. I'll walk you through the process of adjusting the YouTube URL so it'll change into a JPEG. Then we will create some calculated fields in Data Studio to make those images clickable. Let's go ahead and get started. First, you'll need to make sure that you have YouTube links in the spreadsheet. Next, we need to get the unique YouTube video ID key. This is an 11 character string, which is at the end of the URL. We will go ahead and use the write formula to get this string. So in this column here, what I'm going to do is type in equals write, and I would like to get from this string here, I would like to get the last 11 characters. If I press return, then you can see that the string comes up. If you get an autofill here, then you're more than welcome to go ahead and select that autofill. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And it has pulled in the unique YouTube key ID key from each of those links. The next thing that we need to do is take that link and we need to turn it into a JPEG. So there is a website that you can do that with if you like. I'm just going to go ahead and copy this link and show you. And you can come to this website here. That is www.get-youtube-thumbnail.com. And once you get on this page, you can just paste your YouTube link in and say get YouTube thumbnail. And you'll see the thumbnail show up here. And you can go ahead and take the URL that they give you. And I would encourage you to take the URL at the bottom here, the HQ default. So you can copy that, go back into your spreadsheet, you can go ahead and paste it in, and you can go through that process with each one. If you only have a few YouTube clips, maybe that's fine. But if you have lots and lots of clips, let's look at a faster way to do that. So what we need to do is, with the URL that we got from this website here, the beginning of the URL up to uh, .com, and then after the URL, hqdefault.jpg, will be the, exactly the same. And they're just putting in our YouTube video ID key in the middle here. So let's go ahead and use that structure to make our links in the spreadsheet. So over here, I have written out the URL, but I have placed X's, 11 X's in, where I would like for the key to go that I've extracted from my YouTube videos. So I'm going to go ahead and do that using the replace formula. So if I click on equals replace, and what I would like to replace is I want to use this URL. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this here, F2. And what I'm going to do is I don't want this formula to move. I want this to be the same. So I'm going to go ahead and lock that down by pressing the uh, F4 key or the function F4 key if you're on a Mac. I'm going to lock that down, comma, and then it asks for the position. And this means where in the string do you want to start replacing? And if you count out the beginning part of that URL, it's 24 characters in. So I'm going to replace 24. And I want to replace 11 characters, which are those X's. So I'll type 11. And it says, well, what do you want to replace them with? So I'm going to go ahead and choose this key here that I've already extracted. If I do that, you'll notice that our link gets changed to a JPEG now. I'm going to go ahead and use the autofill feature on here to fill those in. And now I have my JPEG URL images here that I'm going to use in Data Studio. So I have this. This is on sheet one. What I'll do is hop over to Google Data Studio, and I'm going to add some data and add a sheet. I have my sheet here, sheet one. I'll go ahead and add that in. So over here, I can see my fields, and I have two links. I have the embed link, I have some extract text, and I have the YouTube links. So the YouTube links is, are the original YouTube links. The embed is the JPEG link. So if I go ahead and make a table, pull the YouTube links over, make a table, and I have my YouTube links there. If I tried to take these links and 
because it is a link, if I click on the pencil, I can try to change the URL to an image. If I do that, nothing will appear. So we can't do that. So we have to make some adjustments. Let's change that back to a URL. And what we will do is we will use this uh, embed link here combined with our YouTube link. We'll make a, a new field. We'll do a calculated field to give us a formula that will create the JPEG that is also clickable. So to make this happen, I'm going to come down here to add a field. And I'm going to title this JPEG link, just so that I remember what it is. And my formula will be to create a hyperlink. And what it's asking us for is you need the URL and then you need the link image. So I'm going to do hyperlink. And I'm going to go ahead and use the, the YouTube links because those are our URLs. And then it says the link image. So if I want to use the link image, I could say, oh, I just want to use that embed. However, if I do it that way, it still will not show up. So what I need to do is I need to tell Data Studio that I'm actually creating an image here of those uh, JPEGs. Those JPEG URLs, those are actually images. So make them an image. So I'll go ahead and click on Save. And now I have my JPEG link here. Let me just go ahead and drag it into the table. And when I do that, you will see the JPEG links populate. We can go ahead and test this out to make sure that this works. Going up to View, click on one of the links. It opens a new window, and our video will start playing. So of course, you can format this any way you want. Down in the description below, I will go ahead and create a link to this template file. So if you would like to go ahead and use this template file, you can paste your YouTube links right into here. And the formulas will already be in here. And you can go ahead and use this to get your JPEG images and link this spreadsheet to Google Data Studio. So check that out in the link below. Um, I hope that you found this useful. and. Um, let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see something else done in Data Studio. Thanks for watching.